Hey puppy dog. So here we are at Spring Hollow. It's a nice day in the middle of winter. No snow. Looks like it might rain. And I'm out here in short sleeves. But I'm making this video and I might post it up a little bit early because um, we've been having a, a couple of internet issues. <sighs> no, I guess they're not super bad, but every time we call the company, they're they ping it from where they are and they say, yep, we see something wrong in the line, we'll send somebody out there. But by the time they send somebody out here, uh, it seems to have fixed. But even then, uh, it took an hour and it took like two hours to upload a video. And it hit, it, when, I, when we first got here, it didn't do that to us. But I guess we'll just have to see. So, yeah, I have a couple things I want to talk about. One of them is, hey, Doug, Doug, you're blocking the view. Go on, go play. Um, one of them is, uh, my last video was really late. I uploaded it Saturday, um, when I, I usually update Monday. Well, uh, what ended up happening is that our internet was being funky, and so I couldn't upload the video, and then I ended up going back to the old house with my dad to help pack a couple of things. Uh, and help clean up the house a bit. So I was gone for the week with no internet access, no computer, none of that. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that <clears throat> uh, if I disappear for a week, like if I don't post on Monday, it's probably due to our internet. Don't worry, nothing really bad's happened to me. I'm just having internet issues. Um, and I'll post as soon as I can. Now, if I disappear for an entire month without telling you that I'm going on hiatus, well, then there might be some issues. Um, so, yeah, that's that's one issue that I wanted to talk about. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk about was, um, as some of you probably know, and some of you have posted these comments, but I get a lot of rude comments on one of my butchering videos, which is fine. They're, for the most part, easy to ignore. It's just people being having wishful thinking and whatnot. Again, the whole, if you don't like it, don't watch it applies. You have every right to click on that video and watch it. You also have every right to not click on that video and watch it. Especially if it tells you exactly what it's going to be and you know you're not going to like it. Like, don't waste your time. If you're not going to like it, if you're not going to take something from it, then don't watch. Um, with that being said, I had somebody ask me why I wouldn't take... Why not take the video down? And my response to that is that would defeat the point, that would defeat the purpose of the channel itself. Um, this channel is a learning channel. This channel is here to document my experiences uh, for other people to see and learn from. It's... <clears throat> if I just recorded all of the good stuff, none of the hard stuff, none of the heartache, none of the failures, all you would see is everything I'm doing right, and you wouldn't see how I got to the point where I was doing that thing right. This channel, the point of this channel is for people who want to learn, who want to watch the video and say, that looked like it worked, I want to try that. Or, well, that didn't look like it worked very well. I'm going to go do some more research before I try it and find something that works for me. Um, I would I would love it if everything went right the first time. But the, the fact is, is this is a path that I chose and it's not an easy one. And a lot of people aren't necessarily going to make the same choice. But this lifestyle um, involves a learning curve. You're not going to do everything right the first time and what somebody tells you to do isn't necessarily going to work for you the same way it worked for them. So experimentation is kind of required to figure out what do I need for this? Does this work for me? Uh, how can I change it to make it work for my circumstances? Because everybody's going to be slightly different in their approach to things. And there are so many ways to do one thing, and none of them, not all of them, are good ways to do it. But not all of them are bad ways to do it, either. It's all about learning and figuring out 
what works best for you and what works best for the land and the animals that you are in charge of, that you're taking care of. Um, my method has worked well for me, but I do want to change it because it's not necessarily what I want now that I'm out here. So the long and the short of it is this is a learning channel. If you do not click on this channel intending to learn something or take something away from the experiences that I'm having, then you have no business clicking on this channel. You have no business watching this video because that's the point. And if you don't want to watch somebody struggling and learning and growing and failing and succeeding, in this new lifestyle, in this learning curve that she is going through, if you don't want to watch somebody at their worst, then don't. Because that's what this channel is about. The nitty, the gritty, there's some people out there, they'll just show you their success and they'll tell you how they did it. And that, that's all they'll show you. And then there's some people who will straight up tell you this ain't easy. And there's got to be a learning curve. And there's got to be blood, sweat, and tears. And I want to be one of those people who informs you properly. This is what it is. And this is who I am. And yes, I'm not perfect. <clears throat> and I don't intend to be perfect. Um, but I do intend to learn and to grow. And that takes time. So yeah, if... If you don't want to learn alongside me, if you don't want to watch me at my most worst, my failures, if you don't want to watch that, then don't. Because they're going to be mixed in there with my successes, my partial successes, my ideas. It's all going to be there. So you have to decide what you want. Um, so yeah, my, my little, my little rant's over. <laughs> I have, let's see, one last thing. My goals for this year. Now that we're out on the property, I do have a couple of goals. Um, three specifically that I'm going to go ahead and put out there. Now that we're here... Um, I'm sharing a room with my little sister, and that's not so bad. It's fine, but my goal is to eventually have, you know, maybe like a little trailer house or um, an RV or just something small for me to move out, give my sister the full room, and then have my full room to myself, because the eventual goal is to kind of have a multi-generational farm here again because there's nothing wrong with those and to be honest with a lot more hands you can manage a lot more and a lot better so that's kind of the idea is that sometime during this year I'm going to get myself a little place to live in for now until I can either build a bigger house for a future family or um I move back into here when mom and dad move out or something. It all kind of depends, but the goal is to get a small living space somewhere on the property for myself um, until I can build a future family house. So that's goal number one. Goal number two. My rabbits are here. I don't have all of the cage equipment and I don't have all of their stuff here yet, but I do have a system in mind that will benefit both them, me, and the land. And so my goal is, the second goal is, to get that system down pat by the end of the year so that I have it going. Um, and I'll probably update with uh, maybe the idea that I have for that rabbit system. Maybe I'll do that along the way, or maybe I'll just make an entire video about it, but who knows. But that's goal number two is to get the rabbit system going good and proper one last thing guys now that we're here and we have our land I've decided that there are two series that I would like to try starting 
I'll tell you more about them later because I don't really think I can start them now. At least not until we've cleaned up a little bit and we've got some of the setups that we need. But yeah, so look forward to that. I'll be doing my best to start that this year as well.